curator Leela Veckerty has a rare copy of an all-American art form. I would like to show you the first introduction of Wonder Woman into the world of comics. Wonder Woman became America's favorite female superhero when she debuted in 1941. That was the golden age of comics. Ordinary Americans sought refuge from the one-two punch of the Depression and World War II in their pages. Wonder Woman's story was a perfect escapist fantasy. A princess born on the utopian island homeland of Amazon women. She rescues pilot Steve Trevor from his wrecked plane and travels back with him to the world of men to combat evil. Her captivating looks and incredible superpowers quickly landed Wonder Woman her first comic cover. What I like to point out in this first image is how feminine she is at the same time being so athletic. So the little feet, the little mouth, big eyes, the very feminine skirt, but a very muscular body to go with it. But beauty only gets you so far. To be a great superhero, you need super strength. Wonder Woman holding up an entire locomotive just by her bare hands. What do you think about how the writer viewed women in society at that time? He wrote articles about the role of gender and women especially. Wonder Woman's creator, William Marston, was a Harvard-trained psychologist and inventor, not an artist, but he recognized that comics could influence society. Wonder Woman broke ground as a strong female role model. Marston created her under the pseudonym Charles Moulton and enlisted illustrator Harry Peter to bring her to life. Was Wonder Woman based on anyone? Yes. What we think might have been a real model is his wife, Elizabeth. Elizabeth Marston was a groundbreaker herself one of only three women to graduate from Boston University Law School in 1918. She became a career woman and working mother. Traditional roles were changing, and the world was changing as well. With World War II shaking the country, Marston's patriotism and sense of justice were also reflected in his superheroine. Her costume may be a patriotic supersuit, but those accessories are more than just fashion statements. The indestructible bracelets protect her from incoming firepower, and her golden lasso captures evildoers, forcing them to tell the truth. One of his field of interest was lie detecting. So the lasso of truth was basically his scientific interest in detecting <laughs> lies. And don't forget those high-tech earrings that communicate with the goddess Venus. He was also thinking about wireless communication. Mm -hmm. Years before Star Trek. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now, do you think that she's kept up with modern times after the 80s and the 90s? I know that recently, the artist made the decision to give her pants. And there was a big uproar in the comic book community over that. I am pretty sure that it's the mm -hmm. same social pressure that is trying to come out in the comics, the role change of yeah. women in society. It, it did seem that primarily males were upset about her getting That's pants. Right. <laughs> I didn't mind her having pants. <laughs> I don't think that there's anyone that you could argue would be comparable. She definitely struck a chord with the nation, like almost an ultimate calling of both femininity and patriotism. 